If you're new here, please subscribe and like for more videos. Let's look at the following question. It reads, A single-stage, single-stroke reciprocating air compressor has a piston diameter and a stroke length of 150 mm. The free volume is 6% of the stroke volume while the speed is 9 revelations per second. The free volume, V3, is, is means equals to 6% of the stroke volume, meaning multiply by Vs, while the speed is 9 revelations per seconds. The initial pressure is 98 kilonewton per square meter, and the delivery pressure is 600 kilonewton per square meter. Polytropical index is 1,32. Assume T1 is equal to 15 degrees Celsius, and a gas constant R is equal to 0, 0,298 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So we are asked to calculate the following. A. The volumetric efficiency with the reference to the inlet conditions. B. The volume air delivered per seconds at 600 kilonewton per square meter. C. The delivery power required. A. The efficiency can be calculated with one of the two formulas. We'll use the first one. The free volume V3 is given as 6% of the stroke volume Vs. So 1 plus Substitute as 6% of the stroke volume Vs times open square bracket, 1 minus, open bracket again, 600 divide by, 98, close bracket, to the exponent 1, over index n, close square bracket, multiply by 100. Vs and Vs cancel, and no more unknown values, therefore efficiency is equals to 8 2,3%. B. The question reads, calculate, the volume air delivered per second at 600. This is V2. To calculate V2, we will use the combination of Charles and Boyle's law, at inlet, which will equals to the air delivered at 2. Where there is V1, we know that we must replace it with effective volume V. But from the information we don't have T2 and VE, so let's calculate T2 first using the temperature ratio and pressure ratio to the power N minus 1 divided by N. We have all the information here. So we can substitute the values and calculate T2. Our T2 going to be equals to 446,85 Kelvin. Now that we calculated V2, the other unknown value is VE. So let's calculate effective volume VE V is equals to V1 minus V4. Here don't have V1, but we can calculate it. Let's calculate Vs first using the diameter and the stroke length Ls. Vs is equals to pi multiplied by 0, 0,15 squared for the diameter divided by 4, all multiply by, by 0, 0,15. Therefore, Vs is 2,651 times 10 to the exponent negative 3 cubic meter. After we then calculate V3 from the statement that turn to an equation that says 
3 volume V3 is 6% of the stroke volume Vs. Then V3 will equals to 1,59 to exponent minus 3 cubic meter. Using the formula Vs equals to V1 minus V3. From this formula, we substitute stroke volume Vs and free volume V3 that we just calculated. We can calculate total volume V1, V1 will equals to 2 comma 8 1 time 10 to the exponent minus 3. From this formula her, the unknown volume is V4. Let's calculate V4. V4 equals to V3 times, open brackets V3 divide by P2. Close brackets to the power 1 over n. In this formula P3 is equals P2, and P4 is equals P1. On the previous video we covered this, as to why this pressures are the same. Now let's substitute V3 and the pressures equals to 1 comma 59 to exponent minus 3 cubic meter times 600 divide by 98, all close brackets to the power, 1 over 1 comma 3 2. So V4 will be equals to 6 comma 277 times 10 to the power negative 4. Now we have calculated both V1 and V4. Let's calculate VE then. VE equals to V1 which we calculated as 2 comma 8 1 times 10 to the exponent negative 3 minus 6 comma 277 times 10 to the power negative 4. Then RVE is equals to two comma one eight two times ten to the power negative three since they wanted v two to be in cubic meter per second as per question let's multiply v by nine ref per second then v e will be zero comma zero one nine six cubic meter per second finally Let's substitute all the calculated values in this formula here. Ninety-eight times zero comma zero one nine six divided by two eight eight is equals to six hundred tomes v two divided by four hundred and forty six comma eight five Kelvin. Therefore, V2 will be equals to 0, 0,004977 cubic meter per second. C says calculate the driving power required. Power is equals to P1, V, N divide by N minus 1, times, open bracket, P2 by P1, to the power, N minus 1 divide by N, all minus 1, close bracket. Power equals to 98 times 0, 0,0196 cubic meter per second. Times one comma three two divide by zero comma three two times P two given divide by P one to the power zero comma three two divide by one comma three two all minus one close square brackets when patch the calculator 
power will be equals to 4 comma 37 kilowatts. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and like for more videos.